Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and I got a quick video here to give two examples on how to solve some problems where the pH is given. So in the first example, which actually comes directly from the review sheet that you're working on, uh, I have a solution of HCl that has a pH of 2.3. So I've given you here the uh, degree of acidity here. That I'm telling you the pH of the solution is 2.3. It's definitely an acidic solution. From that, I want you to calculate the pOH the hydrogen ion concentration, and also the hydroxide or the OH minus concentration. So this is kind of an example of what's coming at you on a test or quiz. So if we start with the given here, my given I have is pH is 2.3. It's kind of question is where do you go from there? Well the first place that I would go if I was given a pH is I would use the formula pH plus pOH is going to equal 14. And when I do that, I'm going to have a little substitution here. 2.3 gets substituted from the pH. The pOH is going to be something we're solving for, and when I add them up, they're going to equal 14. When I subtract 14 and 2.3, I end up finding the pOH is equal to 11.7. Alright, awesome dudes. So what I've done right now, I've calculated the pOH. You know, pH and pOH are a way for us to determine and express numerically the level of acidity or basicity of a solution. And so one way we can do that is by mentioning the pH, and the other way is by mentioning the pOH. And in this case, the pOH is, neg uh, is 11.7, which also is another way of saying it's an acidic solution. What about the H plus ion? Well, if we're looking for the concentration of the ion, in this case, we're going to use the formula pH equals the negative log of the H plus. But the problem is when you rearrange this algebraically, it doesn't work. We're going to end up needing a formula that's similar to this, which is going to be the inverse log function. So you're going to be using the 10 to the X button equals the hydrogen ion concentration. Now this button right here needs to be the button that is directly above the log button. And what you're going to enter into your calculator is 10 to the negative pH equals my hydrogen ion concentration. Now, once again, this button right here is the button directly above your log button traditionally. And when I substitute in 10 to the negative 2.3, I find out that the H plus ion concentration is going to be equal to 5.0 times 10 to the negative 3 molar or moles per liter. So this would be my hydrogen ion concentration. 5 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Lastly, what is my hydroxide concentration? Well, it kind of goes back to this formula right here. Except instead of finding the, the pH, I would find the pOH. And I can't use that formula, so I do have to use this formula. So if everything comes from this pOH equals the negative log of the OH ion, once again, I can't use that formula. When I isolate for the OH minus, I'm going to need 10 to the negative pOH is going to be equal to the hydroxide concentration in molarity. And when I do that, 10 to the negative 11.7 is going to give me a hydroxide concentration of 2.0 times 10 to the negative 12. And that has to be molar. And so here is my last concentration. These brackets mean concentration expressed in molarity, which is moles per liter. So my hydroxide ion has a concentration of 2 times 10 to the negative 12th molar. All right, dude, so when you're given a pH of an acid, it's actually pretty easy. First step you want to do, once again, is use the pH plus pOH formula to solve for the pOH. You grab the pOH. Now you're going to use either the pOH or the pH to plug it into this formula 
of 10 to the negative pH or 10 to the negative pOH formula. I have to remind you, this button of 10 to the negative or 10 to the x is directly above, traditionally, your log button. All right, dudes, that's the first example here. The second example is going to go on looking like this. A solution of sodium hydroxide, which is a basic solution, because when it dissociates, it produces OH minus ions. It also now has a pH of 9.3. All right, dudes, what I would recommend for you to do here is press pause. Check this out. Try it on your own. I'm coming back with the answers and an explanation. All right, dudes, pause is pressed. I'm coming back. The pH is 9.3. Therefore, 9.3 plus the pOH is going to be equal to 14, and our pOH is going to be equal to 4.7. Awesome. A low pOH value indicates a basic solution. So this does support, I have a 4.7, it is a basic solution, and 9.3 also tells me that it's an a basic solution as well. Now I'm going to use the formulas I expressed before. I can't use the formula of pH equals the negative log of the H plus ion, but I can use the inverse log function, which is 10 to the, in this case we'll call it the negative pH equals the hydrogen ion concentration. And when I start crushing the numbers of 10 to the negative 9.3, I end up with a hydrogen ion concentration of 5 times 10 to the negative 10th. And that's awesome, dudes. So what I have here is 5 times 10 to the negative 10th. And I want you to see the hydrogen ion concentration, the exponent right here, is very, very close to the number of my pH. pH indicates an exponent, actually, and so we're going to use that as a double check. Lastly, we're going to plug this in now. Instead of pOH equals the negative log of the OH ion concentration, now we're trying to solve for this, but my formula is not going to work that way. I'm going to have to rearrange it. When I rearrange it, I'm going to use the inverse log function, which is 10 to the negative pOH is going to equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. And so when I plug the numbers in, 10 to the negative, in this case, the OH concentration, uh, the pOH, rather, is 4.7. I'm going to find out my hydroxide concentration is going to be 2 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's moles per liter. So here I have 2 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's awesome, dudes. And you'll notice that the pOH number is actually kind of close to the exponent of the OH concentration number. All right, dudes. The goal of this video was to give you two examples where pH was given and then for you to go out and calculate the other information. All right, dudes. I hope it was helpful. Best wishes on your test. All right? Peace.